Well, AAA is very concerned over a legislative proposal that could substantially weaken the Tennessee's motorcycle helmet law. News 12's Jordan Simmel spoke with a pair of experts today on both the proposed bill and rider safety. He joins us now live in the studio with more of tonight's top local story. Andrew, good evening. Thank you. AAA spokesperson Megan Cooper says House Bill 42 has the potential to lead to greater injuries and deaths for motorcycle riders throughout the volunteer states. She and others in the organization are warning riders that regardless of where the bell ends, keep that helmet on. Cooper says the bill would create a four year program where drivers and passengers 21 and older uninsured with 10 care would be exempt from wearing a helmet on a motorcycle something currently required by Tennessee state law. We have what's called a universal or all rider helmet law. That means that regardless of your age or your skill level um, on your motorcycle, you do have to wear a helmet. Cooper says AAA ran a survey in 2021 on helmet safety, finding that 92% of Tennesseans support a universal helmet law, while just 8% don't. The reasoning behind that was they wanted the option to choose whether or not they uh, wanted to wear a helmet, um, but they didn't want that mandated by law. Local motorcyclist Joshua Estep is part of that 92%. Having ridden both motorcycles and sports bikes for nearly two decades, the local cycle shop manager says the helmets saves lives. It's definitely be a lot easier, a lot quicker, a lot cooler to, to not wear one, but it's, it's all about safety. Working here, you get to talk to and see a lot of people uh, who ride, obviously, and the amount of stories that I've heard of people uh, coming back and saying, hey, you know, I've hit the ground and the paramedics said the helmet saved my life is, is countless. Cooper says multiple studies have revealed increases in rider deaths and traumatic brain injuries in states that relaxed their helmet laws. She is encouraging all Tennessee riders to keep the helmet on, regardless of the bill's outcome. We really should be doing everything we possibly can to minimize those risks on our roadways and make sure that they are safe for everyone to drive on. Um, and so because of that, we, we really can't afford to weaken our current helmet law. Cooper says that bill was supposed to be heard today by the state's House Transportation Subcommittee, but instead it'll be heard next Wednesday, March 8th. News 12 also reached out to the Tennessee Highway Patrol in their Chattanooga headquarters for further comments. Although we were unable to get anything from local officers, the THP receptionist I spoke with simply said, just wear the helmet. Reporting live, Jordan Simmel, News 12.